biggest concern of anyone who is moving to Canada is will I get a job in Canada? What if I don't find anything in time? What will happen? Everyone has this question, but mostly for the people who are settled uh, and by settled I mean who has a settled job in India and back in their home country and they are earning decent amount of money um, and also people who have their spouse and children they are most concerned about what will happen in case if they are leaving their settled job and moving to Canada and not able to find something in time. This is a huge risk and I think almost everyone is afraid of taking this risk. Even we had the same concern because we have put all of our savings uh, for this plan and uh, it was always running in back of our head uh, uh, that we have to find something as soon as possible but what if we end up spending all of our savings but uh, we just don't find anything but at the end until you take the risk you will never know the answer so in this video i'll be talking about my job hunting experience in canada uh, the steps I have followed and what you can follow when you are uh, planning to come to Canada. Also, I'll be sharing my husband's job hunting experience as student. So please watch this video till the end to know all these details. And also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please do subscribe. As you might be already knowing from my previous video that I have moved to Canada on about two months ago, but we have been planning about this for a while. So last year when Ann has been planning to apply for his study visa, I have been reaching out to a lot of people in LinkedIn. I'm from IT, so I have reached out to people uh, of my similar skill background and I spoke to them. I tried to know the job market here. So I have created a job alert in LinkedIn uh, where uh, I just changed the location uh, to uh, Toronto so that um, I can uh, I can get notified whenever a job is posted in Toronto. Uh, so whenever I saw an opening, I tried to reach out to many recruiters as well, but uh, almost all of them had the same answer. Uh, that please reach out to us when, once you are in Canada and I think which perfectly makes sense because uh, many organizations don't uh, want to go through all the sponsorship and um, visa process so that's why they prefer if you are having all those things handy so it, it is easier for even them to hire you so I did not get my work permit until 20th of September around October 10th I have changed my uh, LinkedIn uh, location from Bangalore to Toronto finally i was also in couple of uh, whatsapp groups uh, and i was uh, part of even a telegram group i have been monitoring those pages for a while just to understand the job trends here as soon as i got my visa i have started uh, posting um, in couple of groups asking if anyone come across uh, any of the job openings from my profile they can just connect to me I also applied to all the jobs that were being posted in LinkedIn. So one good thing I have noticed here uh, about applying job is that uh, as soon as you apply to some job, it will send you a confirmation that your application uh, have been received and then uh, they evaluate your profile and even if they don't shortlist your profile, they'll come back with a response that we have evaluated it. and we are uh, we have decided not to move forward with your profile alternatively they probably will consider your profile and try to schedule an interview just same thing happened with me uh, from many of the organization my application got rejected uh, but uh, few of them even started reaching me out uh, i even started my initial round of discussion from uh, india itself they have scheduled a short call through zoom or teams many times uh, so that they can just discuss about my experience and my uh, permit status and all those things uh, so the first interview that was scheduled for me was on 28th of October uh, that was just after a day of my arrival here I arrived uh, here on 27th of October so from the time I landed I got so many calls from so many recruiters uh, and uh, everyone was uh, willing to schedule an interview as soon as possible uh, 
uh, but I took about three four days of gap and then I started giving interviews again uh, within 10 days uh, which was on 8th of uh, November I got my first job offer then later I got something uh, that was more specific to my profile so I just accepted another offer I joined there after almost a month that is from 7th of December so in a, a way I got a good break uh, before joining to my new uh, organization that actually gave me chance to get adjusted with the new place so that that's all about it uh, of course I, I know uh, probably everyone won't be having same experience uh, but uh, honestly I consider myself very lucky that I was able to uh, find a job so soon now for those uh, who are planning to come to Canada very soon uh, you know uh, finding a job uh, anywhere be it in India or be it in Canada be it anywhere else many times it even depends on luck but uh, we can just try our best uh, to do everything possible so, so that we just get noticed by the recruiters there are the few things that uh, you might follow to find a job in canada for the people who are in it for them i guess linkedin is the best option i got most of my interview calls from linkedin i uh, probably got about uh, one or two interview calls from indeed and other than uh, LinkedIn and Indeed, I haven't even created my profile anywhere. Honest, I did not get that much time gap for anything. So LinkedIn was my first priority. A lot of recruiters uh, reached out to me uh, through LinkedIn. And I think it's not only for people from IT. Uh, LinkedIn even works for uh, people from all other domains. Other than LinkedIn, uh, there are a few more websites that you might follow. Uh, the first thing is uh, indeed of course it's indeed.ca there is monster.ca as well career builder zip recruiter simply hired and the final thing is uh, of course uh, the individual company portal even though if you miss out to some job posting in the job boards uh, it's always better uh, to go through go through the company portals you th think is associated to your work you can just go and check their website and if you go to their career portal and if you can find something uh, if they have an opening you can just uh, apply and upload your resume there so for sure if there is an opening they, they will reach you out so i have attached all the links in the description box below in case if you don't want to look through it individually so the best option to find a job in canada might be in case if your organization has an office here uh, then uh, probably try to talk to your employer if uh, they have an opening here if they have uh, the option of internal job transfer that is the best option in this case even you don't have to worry about your work permit even um, the organization will take care from their end that's about uh, what uh, you can try to follow to find a job in canada and the final thing i wanted to talk about is about my husband's job experience because i am in work permit so for me uh, finding a full-time job was um, a bit easier uh, but what happens when you are coming to Canada as a student it becomes very much challenging to find a proper job because of the of course time constraint um, most of the organization they look for a full-time employee so I'll just pass the camera to my husband so that he can share his experience as a student about part-time jobs in Canada uh, so as you mentioned earlier I'll be sharing my experience about the part-time and uh, so after coming in September, I actually worked at two different places and both of these industries were mostly into logistics. Maximum amount of jobs that are available in Canada for part-timers or students are mostly into warehouse and a uh, few cashier jobs which were very hard to come by. As per the regulation, we students can do up to 20 hours a week and most of the workplace pays you minimum wage let me just go ahead and start talking about my experience at the first workplace where i got a role of a package handler it was with one of the reputed companies who deals into logistics and my work there was to mostly lift things so whenever there were parcels coming from all the way like from different provinces uh, we got those big trailers and we had to just empty those 
and put it in the conveyor belt so this was the first job that i was doing and i was doing around four hours a day and i had to go for five days a week i liked the kind of work it was fast paced and everything it gave me a brush it was good for my physique and everything but the only problem was that i was doing a night shift there and i had few classes in early morning because of which i decided to quit this job because it was actually taking a toll on my studies and at the second place where i was working it was also a different warehouse and uh, the kind of work that i was doing there was actually picking up stuff so for different stores around canada they were giving us orders and based on the store's requirement we were actually building up pellets so here i got opportunity to work with power tools i was getting quite a good pay here as well but uh, only thing was that it was almost end of my semester and i decided that before exam i need to take some break so that i can do better during my exams and i actually did so with that uh, uh let me just shine some light on this fact that how different it is to get a part-time job compared to a full-time job so for full-time job actually as she mentioned earlier so you need to follow those but for part-time um, there are different places that you can go to that is like if you want a part-time job in a really nice place which is near to your house then you can walk into different departmental stores and you can just circulate your CV your chances to get hired actually increases by quite a lot if someone is already working or you get a reference if not then you can actually apply through indeed you can uh, look through the newspapers so at every bus stop you will get those employment newspapers available for the public to use so i use indeed to get both the jobs and actually i think most of my friends have used indeed and right now most of them are working so it's not that difficult to get a job but yeah all kind of part-time jobs are like kind of physically demanding and everything so it completely depends on um, person to person if he or she has that willingness as well as strength to carry on with that so wherever it was too much of physically demanding and i felt like it was hampering so i had to leave because in Canada actually you get a lot of opportunities and uh, it's not that there are no jobs or as such it's just that you need to apply to most of them and you will eventually get a job no matter if it's a part-time or a full-time job I would like to tell it from my end that you, if you guys are interested in the content that we are putting outside and if you think that our channel is good to be subscribed then please go ahead and subscribe click on the like button and if you have any queries or concern you can actually ask us any question on the comment section or you can reach out to us on instagram we try to help a lot of people that's all i wanted to say bye bye guys